Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you every single step you need to make this fully 3D printed backpack. So, this video is about two years late, but at least I'm making it anyways. And I'm going to be talking about making this 3D printed backpack. Now, uh, I'm going to be telling you every single step you need, what you need, any, any of the materials, what 3D printer, what anything you can use, what software, what everything. And I'll be showing you how to make this whole thing. Now, the first thing you'll need is definitely a 3D printer and some plastic, probably PLA because ABS shrinks and that's really bad. And the second thing you'll need is all the files to print this. Now, all of the files together cost about $40. Uh, only for the drones and the stocks and the blow, the blow stick, but the chanter itself is actually a free file on Thingiverse called Disenchanted, so that, that was a huge plus. You need your 3D printer to be uh, tuned to the flow rate, so even if it doesn't print in the best quality, even though quality is obviously better, you want it to be uh, the correct flow rate and it's not under extruding, because if it's under extruding then the backpack will be way too weak to even hold. What 3D printers work? All 3D printers will work, but there is a trick where uh, the higher your 3D printer can print, instead of printing two pieces here, you can print this whole thing as one piece and it's gonna be way stronger than obviously like three or four different pieces. I recommend uh, printing everything in white PLA if you're not gonna use primer, but if you're using uh, paint primer, then it doesn't matter. After that, um, you, you need to sand them pretty well and also as smooth as you can. Uh, if you can, you can also smooth the inside if you have the tools for that, but I didn't have the tools and it works totally fine. And you can spray paint them, you don't have to paint them with real tape, obviously, because spray, spray paint is way better. After that, you're pretty much done and I'll tell you what to do next. The files themselves, they look pretty easy to print. Main problem is that sometimes they require a couple of supports, but not always. After 3D printing them, it didn't take that much post-processing. The only thing that uh, needed post-processing was, for me, my printer isn't really tuned uh, for perfection and accuracy. So when two pieces need to fit together, they weren't fitting together. So I had to sand them and then I keep fitting, fitting them. And then at the end, I ended up like putting a little bit of super glue and uh, mostly friction fit them together just so they can uh, fit pretty well. After 3D printing everything, all you need is a bag. The one I got was a Canmore medium Gore-Tex bag because it doesn't need all of the seasoning and taking care of, of a normal uh, goat or sheep hide bag. After that, you can search up on YouTube any video on how to put stocks in a bag and you'll see it because it's very simple. After you put the stocks in the bag, you're gonna have to assemble the drones and put them also there. Now, uh, all of the assemblies and all of that for the actual plastic parts, uh, they're gonna be provided with the files, which I'll link in the description. These files are not mine. Uh, they're on the internet and they go by hashtag 3D drones. Uh, those are the ones that I got and those, those are the ones that I printed. Okay, now for the blowpipe. All you're gonna have to do for this is paint it and then put a flapper valve on the end. After doing that, you're just gonna put hemp on it, obviously just like everything else, and then put it back into the back. Another thing you're gonna need is cords. I use these curtain um, strings or I don't know what they're called. They're kind of like ornaments for your dining room or whatever. I used these first and these work pretty well and then I upgraded to actual real ones uh, right here as you can see these are backpipe cores which cost me about like $20 or something um, they're silk so they're smoother and they look better in my opinion so that's why I got these and not these after assembling everything and putting your cords on or you can do that before the next thing you're gonna need is reeds as you can see right here these are the drone reeds that I use easy drone reeds you can see, I'll open them up, they come like this, and you have three reeds. The longest one is the base one, so the longest uh, drone, as you can see right here. Next reeds you're gonna use is chanter reeds. As you can see right here, I have a, I have a three right here. Uh, they're um, extra easy, easy and medium. Now, where do you put the chanter reeds? The chanter, of course you do. All right, this is where my chanter resides. This is just a normal, I don't know how many inches uh, pipe that uh, I taped, uh, like cut and then taped on the end to make it like cushiony. Um, if you open this, I have my chanter. This is the Thingiverse uh, chanter that I was talking about. It's called the Disenchanter. This uh, chanter was printed in white and then painted black. It honestly works not too bad. The only problem with it is it might not be too smooth on, um, in the hole right here. 
if it isn't too smooth, then it, it gives me a couple of problems with uh, squeaking if I do like any bass notes or anything. So uh, in this video, you won't be seeing me play any bass notes or any uh, fast music because I can. Uh, I need a real chanter for that and I haven't got one yet. Now that you have everything printed, let's get to actually putting it together. All right, now the drones are in here, as you can see. I'm taking this off a little bit, as you can see. And all I have to do is remove the corks and then play. All right, now that the drone uh, reaches back in, let's test it out. As you can see, works. Very out of tune though. I'm about to tune them in a sec after I play the chanter though. Now, I'm gonna be corking all of the drones and playing only the chanter just so you can hear what it sounds like. Now that we need to put the chatter into the backpipe, I got my reed, which is a copper chesney easy, uh, super easy actually, or extra easy or easy plus, I don't know what they call it, reed, uh, right here. I'm gonna put it in and see if it's in tune. If this one's a high A, then that's good. So I have the stro ice robo soft here with the backpipe uh, flavor in it or whatever you call it. Uh, so I'm gonna be trying it right now. Not too tuned, but definitely not bad. I'm gonna be going with that uh, because as you can see, the lines weren't moving that much. So let's try it again. All right, now it's moving a little bit. Let's make it a bit sharper. See, good. All right, get your backpipe, get your chanter and put it into the chanter stock. Slowly put it in because you don't want to ruin it. Doesn't matter what side the holes are on because you're about to spin it in a sack. I'll be putting it right on. You blow it a little bit just so it's a bit easier to hold. And then you can spin this uh, as much as you want. So now I can touch the holes. Now I'm gonna play for a couple of seconds. It might not be in tune, but this is 3D printed, so of course it's not going to be in tune. Uh, it's close enough, though. Um, I won't be using any fast songs or songs with brace notes, so I'm going to be using like a song I know it's local. It's a local so um, song or tune. Uh, it's not really Scottish or anything, so you'll hear it right now. All right, let's start. about like two to three months I'm gonna say just for everything and for all the printing or whatever but it took me th uh, that much longer because I tried a lot of other backpipe variations ex uh, especially also designing mine which I tried designing a backpipe without actually knowing what a backpipe looks like because I don't have a sample one so this is the only backpipe I have uh, and I didn't buy a real backpipe because I don't have enough money so this is definitely a lifesaver because I really wanted a backpipe and this cost me roughly I'm gonna say $300 and all the materials and everything else uh, which is pretty decent for a backpack price now I'm gonna be playing it with the drones but before I do that I have to tune it so I'm gonna be tuning it right now to tune it what you're gonna do is basically take the chanter out just so it doesn't break after that we're gonna get one of the drones um, I like doing this from the outer turner uh, first so um, what we're gonna do is remove the cork Remove the cork only out of this drone. All right, funny enough, this isn't broken in about a year or two years, and it just broke. So, and I'm, I'm gonna be telling you on how to fix these kind of things. As you can see, 
it broke right in here. This is the tuning um, pin. It broke, so what I'm gonna be doing is basically gluing it back on and then trying again. The way I'm gonna be gluing this is getting some hot glue, or super glue, sorry, not hot glue. You can see right here, I need to place it on the edges a little bit. Careful for it not to get on your hands because that's a little too problematic. Uh, this isn't too airtight. Uh, the better thing would be to reprint this, but for the sake of this video, I'm only gonna be um, super, like, uh, gluing this real quick. Uh, it's leaking a little bit and you really don't want it to leak to the actual place where you tune it because it will make it not smooth. So, unfortunately, the drone is not, uh, the drone pin, or tuning pin, is not gluing back into place well. So, for the sake of this video, I won't be playing this drone because I can't. I'll be reprinting a new one though, so, all good, no worries. If you're wondering, um, well, if it broke, why would I need to make that? Because it's definitely going to break with me. It's a matter of how tuned your printer is and how well you printed it and how much info you made and how many parameters and all of that for 3D printers. Uh, in my case, it's been there for about one and a half years or two years by now. So it's about time it breaks up, I guess. Good thing about it is that you can always 3D print another one. So like slap on like 20 hours on the printer and then you have a new one. Um, I'm going to be tuning only these drones and the other one I can't play. So let's get to it. The way I'm going to be tuning these is... Um, getting the ice strobo soft again and tuning it to AA or low A like according to the chanter uh, there is other ways you can do it which is um, basically play the chanter at low A and see how close you can get the tenor to be uh, in tune with it okay. we have the tuner up here again we're gonna be playing the tenor and then I'm gonna be moving this back and forth to see when it gets to an A so let's try it don't forget to cork uh, the chanter uh, stock It's tuned. Um, as you can see, it was an A and nothing was moving, so it was basically a perfect A. Now, we're gonna need to do the bass according to the tenor. I don't like doing the bass according to this because it, it might be a little tricky. So, you keep moving this until you hear like one tone and not two tones like colliding, if you know what I mean. Now that you have it uncorked, I'm gonna be starting with the tuning pins all the way up and then starting from there. So, I'm gonna be moving it a little more. Uh, let's see. We go down from here. Let's see if it's good or not. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be satisfied with this and then let's put the chatter in and let's play. Alright, move the cork, the chatter again, put it in, and let's go try and do it. I'm gonna be playing the same song, and uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not proud of it, but uh, basically I figured out the issue 
This takes too little strength and this is taking too much. So in order to keep these two uh, going, it wasn't good. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, adjust the lips. But for the sake of this video, I don't really have much time left. So gotta be satisfied with this, I guess. Um, I have gotten it to sound better. It definitely can sound very tuned, but that's just a, like a my issue. It's a me issue. I'm just not tuning it uh, well enough. But uh, after it's tuned, it would be really insane to play, especially because it's three hundred dollars. Only problem is that uh, you're probably gonna need a chanter, so add like a hundred dollars to that. Uh, plastic Dolorin McCallum or whatever chanter would definitely work. Um, but yeah, that's right about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, gonna be uh, saying a couple of uh, details. The PLA I used was uh, Overture PLA. I was printing at about like 180 Celsius. I could print the, if you could, if you print the warmer or hotter, uh, it would actually stick better and be more durable. So I didn't do that, but you can. The 3D printer I used was the Creality CR10 V2. Uh, all stock, nothing modded. It was pretty insane. It helped me a lot, especially the 400 millimeter build volume. Uh, that one helped me a uh, crap ton because again, as I said, you can stack pieces on top of each other. So like, for example, this piece, this whole thing was printed in one piece, which is way better than actually printing in like one, two, three pieces, uh, just to prevent breakage, just like the other one broke because it did break in the place where I glued it. So the plastic did, itself didn't break. It's just the glue broke. Um, it can definitely be way, way better. Uh, more things I want to improve is again, the chanter. I'm gonna be reprinting the um, uh, one of the ten, uh, tenor drones, and that's about it. Um, the bag I'm using right here has a patch, so it doesn't slip. It's better. Uh, of course, it has the um, zipper, and the bag also has a zipper, which is why I can put in corks and remove them really easily. I want to be talking about one more thing. This blow pipe works really well, except sometimes my lips started hurting after doing this because it's circular. What I ended up doing is 3D printing another one which this one I designed to fit uh, exactly here. As you can see, these are the two. This one has like a vacuum shape, I like to call it. It's pretty good. It actually works a lot better because you can get way more air in and it's way more comfortable. This one doesn't have a flapper valve though. What I did was get electrical tape and like tape it from two sides so that it's not sticky. And then uh, super glue, uh, cut a circle and then super glue it right here. So this still works pretty well, as you can see. You can see, and then pretty good. Uh, hemped, worked, uh, everything works, except I like this one because it looks uh, more beautiful, I guess. Uh, one more thing, you're gonna have to be uh, careful not putting too much paint because um, that paint won't really stick that well, because uh, that's just my paint. If your paint is better, then that's good. Uh, my paint didn't stick that well, so the paint was getting into my teeth, which is <laughs> not good. Uh, that's right about it. The chanter, is uh, by Disenchantered. I'll also be linking all of the things and all of the things down in the description, all of the files and everything. Uh, that's right about it. Uh, thanks a lot. Yeah.